got Pro Football Weekly's power rankings for week six, and no big surprise, Dan, the top five all remain the same. They just keep winning. But at number nine, the San Francisco 49ers jumped up six spots into our top ten after that big win against the Bucks. Yeah, blowout win. They keep winning, too, just like those teams at the top. And right now, uh, you look at who they've beaten. It's only the teams that in the bottom half of our power rankings rank 16 or lower. They've beaten talented teams like the Eagles, but they haven't beaten very many good teams as we see it now. Measuring stick again for them this week with the Lions coming up. Yeah, win over the Lions, you figure they have to jump up the rankings, and the Lions probably slipping a little bit. At 12, the Oakland Raiders, another team on the rise. They rose seven spots off that emotional win. Yeah, going and beat Houston was a, a big win for the Raiders, no question about it. And then you look what's coming up for them. Three home games and a bye week in the next four weeks. So a uh, very favorable stretch here coming up for the Raiders. If they can take advantage of that, no one's real impressed with the Chargers so far. Could they be press, pressing for an AFC West title come uh, December? We'll see. Yeah, it seems like the 3-2 and two record for the Raiders has actually been more impressive than the 4-1 and one record for the Chargers. The Atlanta Falcons sit at number 14, and somehow Dan rose three spots this week despite losing to the Packers. I think people must have voted when it was still 14-0. That seems like you're taking a little too much pleasure in the questionable <laughs> call there, Adam, but I think the Falcons are definitely a middle-of-the-pack team right now. They lost to a very good Packers club, but uh, they haven't proven themselves against good teams yet, and they're very disappointing considering what expectations were heading into the season. Season. Yeah, I for one had them going to the Super Bowl. It's not looking like they're a Super Bowl team right now. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers following that disappointing loss, crushing loss to the Niners, and their schedule doesn't get any easier. Yeah, it was one of the worst losses in franchise history uh, against the 49ers, and now they have a schedule that doesn't look very good. You have New Orleans, you go to London to face the Bears, you have a bye week, and then you go to at New Orleans, Houston, and then at Green Bay. I don't know if things are going to be looking up for the Buccaneers anytime soon. They could be out of the playoff race maybe. Uh, by the final third of this season. As talented as those Buccaneers are, it seems like that loss to the Niners may kind of start their tumble down our rankings. For the full look at the power rankings, check us out at ProFootballWeekly.com.